Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. My daughter and I slept out in the living room last night and we had a little girls night sleepover. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my outfit for the day and show you what it looks like. So here's today's outfit selection. I'm wearing my Victoria's Secret black leggings and I'm wearing my lucky t-shirt. I wear this t-shirt all the time, not only because it's comfortable, but I always have a good day when I wear it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go do something with this hair. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take out these braids so I can see how curly and wavy my hair looks. Ooh, it's looking promising. So here's one side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then put it all together. Okay, so here's the wavy hair today. This is my favorite part of wearing braids the day after your hair looks like this. So I'm just gonna leave my hair like this today and keep it down and I think it looks so cute. So earlier today, my husband went out by his lonesome and went shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a little bit of his vlog footage now. Okay, this is Trey, Melissa's husband. Um, so, our kids have both been kind of sick. Uh, Cece's feeling a little better. And I got to run to town to get some um, medicine for our son, Charlie, who's been out of school for, uh, so I think today's day three, today's Wednesday, right, Cece? Anyway, Melissa had to stay home with him, so y'all are going vlogging with me. And I would just like to formally let you know that I am in complete and utter protest of this. I do not like vlogging. It is not my thing. I am not good at it. No, you probably will not see my face. Um, well, maybe you will. I don't know. Uh, just to give you a heads up, I like to make a lot of jokes. I like to make a lot of dirty jokes. And sometimes I make to like, I like to make a lot of and appropriate jokes that may or may not offend some or all of you. So if you can't handle that, then you might just wanna go ahead and turn this video off now. But I'm in my truck, because I don't like driving Melissa's little rinky dink car unless she's with me. And I gotta go get diesel. So that's where we're going. We're going to get diesel. Or as I like to say, pay the mortgage. nice paying a hundred dollars to fill my truck up but that's where we're headed now and i will hit record again as soon as we get to the gas station and fill this puppy up okay bye what are we doing right now cc getting gas huh getting gas we're getting diesel. diesel how much get how much diesel do we have right now let's see Right now we have 200 and we got a little over half a tank. Now let's go see how much this costs us so far. Let's see. Oh, look at that. A little over half a tank is $63. Ain't that some BS? We need a little uh, sticker that says gas is too high or diesel is too high. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Are your ears cold? Is your little beanie keeping you warm? Mm -hmm. Who's on your beanie? <laughs> Ooh, it's Olaf. <laughs> What's on my beanie? Uh, Georgia. Them dogs. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> We're at 80 bucks. We're almost full though. We're is, full. That, is that UPS? Mm -hmm. No, it's called the Ups truck. <laughs> no, yeah, that's UPS. Oops, truck. Are we gonna call it? Are we gonna yeah. call it Ups now? Yeah, there goes a mower head. Oh, we just hit 91 bucks. Let's see. We can't let it land on an odd number. So let's see. 9288 that works. No, it's an even number. How is it even? If 
if y'all notice, I'm wearing my joggers, my red sweater, and a beanie. Just to let you know, I'm a man, so I have the same three pairs of pants, the same three pairs of shirt, shorts, the same three shirts, the same three pairs of underwear, the same beanie, and the same jacket. And I've had them all for 12 years, so get over it. All right, now we're good to town. See ya. All right, so now we're on our way to town, um, and we got a little ways to go because we live out in the sticks where I was born and raised. And Melissa asked me to, you know, record stuff because she couldn't come along and vlog and she needs to make a, a video for Vlogmas, which, you know, as a man, I don't, I don't really understand what the hell the point of it is, but that's just me. I'm a guy. I can admit that I don't understand why women do it just like y'all don't understand, you know, why men do the things that we do. You know, our brains are different. We think things are different. Y'all know what X y'all white is and off white is. We just, men know what white is. White is white. And you'll never convince us of anything otherwise. So, but I figured while we were riding, uh, I would tell y'all the story. Uh, I don't know if Melissa's told y'all about how Melissa and I met. So, I grew up, I was born and raised in the South, in Georgia. I won't tell you. I won't say exactly where, but um, I graduated high school in 2004. I went to um, a college here, not local, but about an hour away. I signed up for nursing school, and I was in nursing school for about a year and a half. Um, and I was uh, kind of on and off dating the girl I dated in high school, and one day, I want to say it was, I don't know, around September or so of 2000 and probably September 2005, I woke up one random Saturday, and I don't know why I did it. It was right before college football season. I remember that. It was like, no, it might have been August. It was like the week before college football season started, like the last second to last weekend before August, and, um, I decided to go join the military, and there was no rhyme or reason, I just said, you know what, I just need to get out of here, so I dropped out of school, and I went up to the local recruiting stations that are, you know, that were, I say, close to where I live, they were about a 40, they were about a 45 minute drive. And I scored really high on my ASVAB. I got like a 80, I got an 87 on my ASVAB, so I could join any branch that I wanted to. I could get, I qualified for pretty much any job I wanted to. I think outside of like, new, you know, the nuclear stuff. And I think if I would have retaken the ASVAB, I could have pushed myself and gotten, you know, a higher grade. But I just, when I took the ASVAB, I didn't really give a crap about it because I initially didn't plan on joining the military. But anyway, I, I'll. I was initially planning on joining the Air Force because I wanted to fly jets. And I walked to the Air Force office and they were going to lunch and it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. So there was nobody there. And the one that was across the hall was the Navy recruiting office. And that's where I went. Uh, I walked in and uh, um, the LCPO or the leading chief petty officer of the recruiting station there just happened to be the dad of a guy that I graduated high school with and he knew me um, uh, he knew when I he asked me where I graduated from he told me I graduated with so anyway I told him I was thinking about joining and he kind of said all right well are you thinking about it or you know long story short I ended up joining and I signed up for MEPS or I signed up for DEP which is the delayed entry program and I left for boot camp the next year, um, May 4th, 2006. So I go to boot camp. I graduated uh, July 4th weekend. Or, I remember we went, it was July 4th weekend. We went, my parents came and watched me graduate boot camp. We went to Six Flags right there by, um, you know, uh, recruiting station, Great Lakes. I don't know what they call it nowadays, like recruiting. Uh, 
you know, Naval Station, Great Lakes. I don't, I, they've changed the name, I think, since I went there, so I don't know what they call it nowadays, but I graduated, and then I went to, um, a little, the little, um, electronic school there in Great Lakes, right across, right down the road from where boot camp is for a month or two. I think it was called the AEEE School, Advanced Electronics Engineering School or something. I don't know, but I was there for a couple months, and then I went to San Diego for my A school and C school, and that's where I ended up uh, meeting Melissa. I was about halfway through my A school when we were doing muster one night, and Melissa showed up. She was checking in, and um, I had... Uh, noticed a ring on her finger and you know I'm not I was I was born and raised to respect you know people's relationships so you know even I didn't date a lot in high school but when I dated somebody or went on a date with someone if they had a boyfriend or if I thought they were in a relationship I didn't pursue it I just because I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me I didn't do it so I asked her if she had a boyfriend if she was married she said yes and then that was kind of the end of it for me. I asked her, you know, I asked her out. She said she had a boyfriend. I said, I respect that. Have a nice day. And that was the end of it. And then, I don't know, maybe two months went by. And it was uh, kind of, I think it was probably the end of October. Or maybe, it might have been a little bit earlier. It might have been like the middle of September. Um, and... I was, we were getting ready to muster for the weekend. Like I had um, my Liberty card, uh, so I could go out past uh, midnight because of my Liberty card. And I was talking to the buddies that I had met at that A school and C school and all that stuff. And we were talking about going to the hookah bar. And Melissa walked up to me and said, hey, you know, my, my last name, she called me by my last name because that's what we do in the military. We call each other by our last name. She said, hey, so-and-so. I'll go to the hookah bar with you. And she was talking to me. And I was like, well, I thought you had a boyfriend, you know, if you have a boyfriend. She's like, no, no, I broke up with him. I found, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we ended up going on a date. And um, so we go on this date. And it was fun. We went to a hookah bar. And we pretty much went on a date all weekend, every weekend. Um, from that point forward, every Friday night, uh, we'd leave base. And we'd walk down the street all the way. There was no crosswalk by where the base was. Um, there was no crosswalk. So we'd literally have to walk like a half a mile. I think there's a cop, so hold on. Um, we literally have to walk like a half a mile for the nearest crosswalk by where our base exit was, do a U-turn, and then um, to get to the other side where the stores were. But we would walk all the way down to that crosswalk and um, walk all the way back just to get to Wienerschnitzel. And we'd go to Wienerschnitzel just to get a chocolate chip mint ice cream or a uh, uh, chocolate chip mint, you know, shake, uh, milkshake. And we did that every Friday night. And then we'd go to the movies. Uh, our first movie that we went to go see was Let's Go to Prison or something like that. But you know, we hit it off really quick, and we only dated for like, I don't know, maybe three months, and then we, um, we got, it was like one, it was one weekend, I think it was November 27th was our first date, so it might have been a little longer, it might have been four months or so, but uh, March 16th, of the next year, it was like 2000, uh, 2007, I almost said 2017, but it was a Friday. We got out of school, or I got out early on a Friday, and she got out, and I was waiting for her. I had already went changed into my civvies, and I was waiting for her to get out of class so we can go get our chocolate chip mint, like our chocolate mint um, milkshake at Wiener Stencil. I, you know, I was gonna walk her to her barracks and she could change, and then we were gonna go. And she literally walked right up to me and looked, she just looked at me, she's like, hey, you know, so-and-so. She said, hey, Trey, you wanna go get married? And I said, you know what, sure, why not? And that's it. 
that's the story. She proposed to me. I didn't propose to her. I didn't get down on one knee. I didn't, there was no wedding. There was no nothing. We literally got two random um, people that we knew from base to come with us to the courthouse. I sh actually, you know what? I don't even think we did that. I think we paid um, like 20 bucks to two people that were at the courthouse there with us who were also eloping as our as our witnesses like they paid us 20 bucks to be their witnesses we paid them 20 bucks to be their witness to be our witnesses we got married um that same day uh i called my mama who is a you know born and bred southern mama and she was very upset because um her firstborn son so if anybody's watching this is a southern mama is from the south and you have a firstborn son imagine your firstborn son calling you and telling you that he's married and he didn't tell you about it and yeah needless to say she was not happy but that's the story of how melissa and i met we did not we did not have a wedding we didn't have the traditional proposing it was nothing i literally walked out of school walked out of my c school she walked out of her c school she just walked right up to me and it's like hey you know it's two o'clock on a friday let's go to the courthouse and get married and i said sure why not and that's what we did and that's the story um charlie and cc of how i met your mother so all right we're almost to town i'm almost to my exit so i'm gonna turn this off i've been kind of going slow in the interstate all right we're at five below we're not here for anything from melissa we're here for me and for CC to get a squish mellow, right? And maybe to get CC a squish mellow. Or no, maybe to get mom a squish mellow. And Charlie a squish mellow, because he secretly really likes them. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Here's Melissa's favorite things squish mellows. Yay. Hmm. I want to give this Let's one. Let's see if they have one that looks like um, mom's favorite one. Mm. This one's adorable. What's, what's its name, though? Fletcher? Fletcher. Yeah, that dude looks like a Fletcher. I want it. Okay, you can get it. Yeah. Alright, there's way too many people crowded behind all the toy stuff. So we have one Squishmallow so far. They don't have the thing I'm looking for. Uh, these are bootlegged Squishmallows. This is really Nobody ever has the thing I'm looking for. I don't have, like, I, I don't have any vices in this world. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do anything illegal or immoral. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look. That's adorable. You know, like that? I don't do, um, I'm not saying I'm perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't do anything wrong. So is it too much to ask to come to a store on a random Wednesday to look for one little thing? Can you get that? How much is it? I remember asking my papa for a Goosebumps book one time and it was like the middle of July and he told me no, it was too close to Christmas. So I'm going to have to just go with that. No, it's too close to Christmas. <laughs> oh, sweet. This is my kind of jam. Oh, yeah, get that for mom. Mama like that. That's the thing we'll get for mom. Okay? Okay. Mama like that. She likes planner crap. <laughs> when I say planner crap, people don't take offense to that because that's just the way I talk. I don't mean it like it's literally, I think it's crap. It's just, I just say planner crap. Although I know somebody's going to take offense to it, but I just want you to know I don't care. Aww. My little Melly Sue knows, knows what I mean. All right, I think that's it, CC. They don't have the thing I'm looking for, and I'm pretty pissed off about it. Wait, what is this? Yeah, it's... Is that a count? Oh, it's a meme calendar. What memes? Are you going to get that? You want to get it for Charlie? Yes. Yeah. Please. These are trying. These are too try hard, though. They're not like real funny memes. Well, what is Brawl Stars? Is Brawl Stars a Roblox game? Yeah. No, it's not. Who is it? 
All I want is pet simulator stuff. That's my one vice. Oh, Hello Kitty uh, Tech Deck? That's old school. I remember when Tech Deck stuff first came out, everybody loved it. And then everybody thought it was stupid like three weeks later. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. So yeah, now we're just walking around. Five below. You okay? Wait, no, no, no. Melissa's gonna get mad if I don't just show the um, makeup stuff, but I'm not gonna pretend to know what all this stuff is, so let's just, just bear with me, okay? Ooh, ah, makeup. Ooh, ah, same colors and different packaging. Ooh, ah, shampoo, fake nails. Ooh, ah, hydrating cream masks that have the same ingredients in different packaging. Ooh, look, look at this palette. Look at this palette with glitter. Look at this palette with no glitter. Look at this palette with less glitter. Look at this palette with no glitter. No, I'm kidding, but not really. Hey, I, boss babe. Heck is boss babe? Oh, I know. See, more, your mom's gonna love that. Yeah, well, that'll be the surprise stickers, we get her. Oh no, here. This is for mom though. You can't have I that. Know, I know. You can't have that one. That's just for mom. Mom flip out when she sees that. Okay, here's. Oh look, nail stuff. Now this is my jam. I'd be okay with Melissa doing nail stuff. On me if she used Cinema Toast Crunch. The taste you can see. Oh, Cece, look, you think mom will like that? Yeah. I don't know. I can't wait for her to see that in video and know that I didn't get it. <laughs> Is that a little bit cynical? <laughs> wait, hold on. Yeah. I wish they had, oh yeah, lip glosses. I wish they had Squishmallow, um, Squishmallow uh, makeup stuff. Look, it's coloring. Oh, axolotls. Aww. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Look, there's uh, kid nails. Kid nails, yeah. Look, my kind of socks. Here we go. This is the kind of aisle your mom likes. This is the one we need to go down. I'm going to get her a surprise. This is the surprise. Hey, Cece, look, we're going to get your mom. This She's going to love this for Christmas. A Magic Eraser Mr. Clean. You think that'll help her clean up better? Okay, all right, let's go pay for our two things. Excuse us. Oh, a Krabby Patty? Yeah, you can get it. You don't want it? Oh, okay, all right. All right, here, let's go put our buggy back and go pay for our, um... All right, we're gonna go put our buggy back and then pay for our two things. So, we'll see ya. Okay, we just left five below. There's an Ulta over there. Yeah, we got a squishmallow for CC, and we got a surprise for Melissa that she's gonna like. Um, we're gonna go to Walmart now and get supper for Charlie because he's sick. So we're gonna get some soup or something, and then we're gonna get um, pizza for Melissa because it's Wednesdays, and Wednesdays we do pizza night. Hold on, CC. All right, there you go, man. Um, gotta. and then we're going to go to Target, see if they got Christmas tree cakes. You got a seatbelt. Hopefully they'll have Christmas tree cakes at Walmart. And we're going to, if they don't have Christmas tree cakes at Walmart, we'll go to Target, see if they have them. And if they don't have them, then we'll go home, I guess. Okay. Okay. All right. Squishmallow. Love you. Love you, Bobby. Love you. All right, now we're at Walmart. And before you ask, yes, I'm a moron. Going to Walmart like 10 days before Christmas. Um, I do have a partner in crime. Luckily, it's in the middle of the week, so there's not too many people here. But hopefully, it won't be. Uh, 
too, too bad. I will say though, if they do not have little Debbie's, somebody has their music really loud. If they don't have little Debbie's Christmas tree cakes here today, I will probably need somebody to bail me out because I'm gonna lose my you know what. Little Debbie's Christmas tree cakes. That is my drug of choice. No, I'm kidding. Don't do drugs, okay? Drugs are bad. Okay. Morning, morning, sir. Are you doing all right? Having a good day? So I hear that. We all woke up today, right? That's right. Better than we deserve. It's going to be good because we all woke up today. Hey, best sir. Better than we deserve. So, let's get a buggy. All right. So, we're going to try to go get through this as fast as we can and with as little headache as possible so let's go get some little Debbie's Christmas tree cakes thank you and uh you know I'm a guy I'm not like a you know this isn't enough to get to women shopping but y'all like to go to every spot in the daggum store 15 times looking for 74,000 different things I know I need like six things. I'm gonna get these six things, get the hell out of here and go home. Or go to Target next, but yeah, anyway. See you when we're leaving. We hit the mother freaking jackpot. They actually had Little Debbie's Christmas tree cake ice cream. I will waste four tanks of diesel to go get this. If you don't have this near you, then you need to move. So that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, Walmart wasn't. It wasn't that bad, was it? Oh yeah, we got six ice cream. So uh, I would have waited four hours for that, to be honest with you, because that's like my. Yeah, that's my. Hook, line, and sinker. That's my jam. I would do anything for little Debbie's Christmas tree ice cream. Uh, now we're at my truck. We're gonna load up and then I ain't worried about it. And then we're gonna head to Target real quick, run in for one thing. Hold on, Yankee, yeah, I gotta un unlock it. We gotta um, run in Target for one quick thing just for five minutes and then head home. All right, now we're on our way to Target and it's lunchtime on a Wednesday. What's the day? The 15th, so roughly 10... Wait, what's today's date, CC? Now they're 12 o'clock. No, not the time. What's today's date? I don't know what today's date is. Pretty sure it's... Oh, I have to wait till I stop to look. Let me see. Oh, today... I think today is the 14th. Or, well, I think it's the 14th. Let me look when I stop really quick. Either way, I don't know. We got like 10 days till Christmas, so... Everybody and their mama's getting out of work and going on Christmas break and it's lunch time and people are trying to cut in line and traffic and nobody knows how to funnel in and like this clown right here, he just decided to come from behind me, get in the turning lane and just scooch all the way up to the front like an asshole. Um, uh, I don't like to cuss sometimes it slips up and that's the navy coming out of me uh i try my best to be a, a good christian i know that's probably not politically correct to say but again um like i told you earlier i don't care what uh, anybody thinks about me i never have i am who i am i am my mama and daddy's son but i don't like butthole drivers they make me have road rage which i have under control for the most part but yeah, traffic's bad. So what would normally be about a six minute ride if I hit all the green lights turns into a 30 minute ride for me to get to Walmart uh, to Target. So by the time I make it home, my delicious mouth-watering treat that is Little Debbie's Christmas tree ice cream is going to be melted and i'm going to be extremely upset so i hope whoever that douche canoe that was driving that escalade that decided to go to the turning lane 
I hope whenever he gets home, he steps on a big fat Lego or stubs his toe. But I don't wish ill on him. I just hope he steps on a Lego. Okay, now we're turning into the place where um, we get uh, to Target. So, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say. I am kind of hungry, though. So, I might stop to get something to eat. Maybe get Chick-fil-A or something. I don't know. What would y'all eat? What, what do you want to eat, Cece? Hmm? What do you want to eat? What do you mean? I think I'm going to save... Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all saw this. They make freaking Nutty Buddy cereal. Cece, aren't you so excited about that? Mm -hmm. They make Probably freaking Nutty Buddy cereal. Now, look, like I, like I said earlier, I was born and raised in the South. Little Debbie's is a staple i grew up with it was been in my house like it's just a southern staple i don't know if it's ever been up north i don't know if people who live across like the the you know upper northeast northwest the plains whatever you want to call it i don't know if y'all have little debbies i don't know if y'all know what little debbies is i don't know if it's too sweet too many chemicals I, I don't know what the hell y'all have but it is good it is delicious and nutty buddies stick them in the freezer and they are amazing but they made a freaking nutty buddy cereal and i promise you that it is going to be absolutely god awful terrible for you but you'll be, you'll die happy all right pulling into a parking spot now so now we're going into target see you on the way home bye all right now we're going to target yeah it's a just a, a high dollar Walmart, that's all it is. Yeah, just sprinkling. But we're gonna go in here and um, see if they got the see if they got Christmas tree cakes because Walmart didn't have them, even though it had the ice cream. You got wet socks? Oh yeah. See if they got Christmas tree cakes. And see if they have this one thing that I'm looking for. Oh man, we gotta pray for him. He's in a wheelchair yet, but really. All right. Excuse us. Excuse us. I know y'all won't see this till tomorrow, so I do ask that y'all say a prayer for me that I find some Christmas tree cakes before they stop making them. Can I please, I want, to, I want the sweet taste of a Christmas tree cake one more time before the season's over with. All right. Goodbye. Okay. So we're leaving Target now. Uh, I got. When I was looking for, I picked up, um, and your neck feels good. We, uh, picked up one of Charlie's Christmas gifts that, because he's sick, we're going to give it to him today. See, he's going to wrap it when we get home. Um, and I'm just going to insert this because Melissa spoils the crap out of herself every single day of every single week of every single month with makeup crap. They had a PS5 in stock and she wouldn't let me get it. So, I want all of y'all, put your on, baby. I want all of y'all to tell her she's an asshole for not letting me get it. Okay, goodbye, see you at home. Okay, so now we are on the way home. Uh, well, technically we gotta go stop at one more place in our little hometown. Um, I gotta pick something up for Melissa. And then, I mean, that's literally two minutes from our house, so we'll be home probably about one o'clock or so, but um, Melissa told me that she likes uh, for vlog her vlog videos to be long and that she likes long videos. So for me to make it as long as possible, so I figured I would just vlog the whole way home even though it's very awkward and I don't like it and I don't know what to talk about. So I'm just going to talk about a bunch of random crap with y'all. Um, maybe my interests, what I like, my beliefs. Uh, if you find them offensive, then you can take that offense and shove it up your butt. Uh, I don't care. I don't mean to offend anybody, but let's talk about Christmas first. So, Christmas has become extremely commercialized, and I don't like it. Oh, there's a there's a whole trailer full. It's a whole flatbed full of motors. It looks like diesels, too. They all have turbos on them. They gotta be coming from Bluebird or going to Bluebird. Um, but yeah, um, you know, whether 
you're the religious type or not is irrelevant. Uh, I know Christmas, technically, uh, if you look at it in the historical context, is uh, originally a, a pagan holiday, if I remember right, though I'm not 100% sure, but uh, Christians, that's what I am, that's what uh, Melissa is, that's what we raise our children as. Do we give gifts to our kids? Yes. Um, is that wrong? No, because uh, the three wise men, um, they presented gifts to Jesus when he was born. The way Christmas is being treated nowadays, um, yeah, there is. It, it, it offends me because, it doesn't offend me, or offend is the wrong word. Nothing really offends me. It's all just greed. And I know, like, it doesn't matter what part of the political aisle you you fall on. Greed is everywhere. I, I don't like what Christmas has become. I don't like how Christmas has become this materialistic, you know, holiday instead of what it truly means, which is family, servitude, serving one another. You know, sure, you can give gifts, you can have fun, but it's really about being together, um, spending time together, loving one another, you know, bringing joy to other people, and loving on one another and loving each other. And I blame a lot of it on technology, though technology does provide us a lot of benefits as, um, as a society, you know, like... I remember growing up, we didn't have, you know, I, I don't know how many, how old people that watch Melissa's videos are. I don't know what her demographic is. I don't, you know, I don't ask her about it because it's her thing. She enjoys it. And I don't want my input to influence anything that she does, you know, but how many of y'all remember the Encarta CDs? You know, like if you wanted to learn something historical, there was, there was no, you had to either own the set from the encyclopedia salesman or you had to get the, you had to own a computer and freaking put in the Encarta CD or whatever the heck it was called. It was Encarta, you know, 93 or 91 or Encarta MD or I don't, DM. I, I can't remember the name of all of them, but there was a bunch of them. Um, but technology has really forced us as a society to stop viewing each other as human beings and as and instead you know makes us all individuals instead of you know communities you know like um in the south growing up everybody and, and it's still like this to this day you know maybe not as prevalent anymore as it used to be but it's still way much more so uh, it was a big culture shock to me when i moved um when i joined the military and moved to san diego and moved to uh, Virginia Beach and lived in the Great Lakes and stuff, um, saying yes, ma'am. You know, I was raised, my kids are raised this way, um, saying yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. You know, talking to your neighbor, speaking to your neighbor, knowing your neighbor. Now, I'm not, I'm not sitting there saying you need to have your nose up your neighbor's behind all the time, knowing, like, having your nose in their business, because that's not what it's about. But, you know, I grew up mostly everybody in the south that grew up in a small town everybody knows everybody and if you needed help you could call on that person nowadays especially i noticed in cities you know if you needed help you didn't have anybody i mean sure like if you had a a buddy that just happened to live next to you they might be able to help you but um that it's just not the case anymore for the majority of people because most people live in big cities so you don't know your neighbor like you should and it's because everybody's online everybody's on their phone nobody communicates if you put your phone down and talk to somebody instead of looking at your phone while you're riding the bus or the train or a plane you know you're automatically assumed to be some sort of weirdo pervert whatever you want to call it and i think that's a shame you know we've lost something extremely important and that is our own you know our humanity our love for one another in a non you know in a platonic way not a creepy ass way but anyway i don't know why i went off on that tangent but i think technology has taken the christmas 
that we once knew and loved and pretty much turned it upside down on its head. Now, um, I'm sure that's not true for every single person or every single family, so don't sit here and say that I think that your specific situation is the one I'm talking about. I'm not. I'm just saying for the most part. Like, go to Walmart or go to Target or go to Home Depot in July and, if you, and look and see if there's Christmas trees up. And if there are, then you know that there's a problem. It's July. Like, college football season hasn't even started. But that's my little tangent about Christmas. I just don't like how... And, and it's been happening for 10 plus years now. And it's our fault as consumers, too. It's not just that corporations fall it's not technology's fault we've allowed it to happen it's like the frog in a pot you know like if you take a frog and you throw it in a pot of boiling water it'll jump right out but if you put it in the pot and you turn it the heat up slowly and it'll boil to death you know that's we're the frogs you know we've slowly just let things change over time without noticing it and without you know saying anything about it because we didn't know that it was happening so Hopefully we don't overcorrect. Hopefully we don't undercorrect. Hopefully we do some sort of correction so that we can get, you know, some of our communities, you know, some community back within our communities. So let's talk about the next big thing. Um, I'm driving with my knee real quick while I adjust my hand. Let's talk about the next big thing. This is the, this is the big news. Uh, well, there's two things. One, um, as y'all probably know, I love college football very much. Like I said in Five Below, I don't have, as a dad, and, and uh, if you're a man and you're watching this, most men, if you're, if you're married or if you have a boyfriend that's older, um, and I'm talking about like, you know, thir in his 30s, like 35, you know, even 20, been married for 10 or 15 years or 10 years, and, you know, just as men in general, we don't really have much to look forward to other than raising our kids taking care of our wives and uh, providing for our families those are the things that bring us the most joy and that's the guy's honest truth at least for me um, and for most men I would assume it's the same thing like I enjoy protecting taking care of my kids and doing the best I can to provide them with everything that they need everything that they want now I don't give them all that they want well, I take that back. Sometimes I give them things that they want that they probably, I probably shouldn't. I should probably make them earn some of the stuff that they get. But, you know, as long as uh, our son, he makes all A's. He's made all A's this entire time that he's been in school. He uh, He's way ahead of his grade level in his academics. He's, you know, me and Melissa are pretty smart uh, people. Um, she's way smarter than I am. Um, our daughter's really, really smart. Um, they do their chores. They they keep their nose clean. Uh, so we do our best to reward them to you know keep that you know to for them to keep doing that. So anyway, another tangent. But college football is one of the things I love. So I don't drink. Somebody's calling me. I don't know. No, I don't care about you extending my truck's extended warranty. Um, so, like I was saying in Five Below, I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do anything illegal. I don't do anything immoral. I don't uh, commit adultery. I never, uh, even growing up, I was not one to go to parties in high school. I was not one to... Um, you know, get into trouble. I kept my nose clean. I played baseball. Um, I didn't really do a lot. Like I was, I'm boring now. I was boring then, you know, I just wanted, even, I remember being 14 years old and I was ready to find, and it, as crazy as that sounds and as dumb as that probably sounds nowadays, I remember, um, playing basketball at my mom and daddy's house and just outside just shooting just playing 21 with myself um thinking to myself you know i'm just ready to find you know graduate high school go to college find me a, um, a nice woman that i could just marry have kids with and um settle down with and you know get on with my life and raise some babies and just be happy i was ready to do that when i was 14 like i've never been 
one to party. So I don't have any vices in this life. Like I, I have no vices. I don't, like I said, I don't drink, don't do drugs. I don't do anything illegal, immoral. And I go to bed every night at nine o'clock. Like I'm super, I'm ridiculously boring. Um, I'll go fish every now and then. I'll, you know, if I got time or if I have, uh, you know, a gnat's ass hair up my butt, I'll go hunting if I feel like it, which I can literally walk out my back door and go do if I really wanted to. But, um, but college football is one of my vices. I love it. And I get it for 13 weeks of, of regular or, or 12 weeks of the regular season and then conference, tram, conference championship weekend. So I literally get it September, October, November, first week of December. So that's what, that's 12 weeks. I get it one day, a, one day a week for those 12 weeks. So I get it for 12 days out of the year for the entire year. So for 12 days, the entire year is the, that's how many days I get to watch college football. That's regular season. Now postseason, you got conference championship games that happen the, the week after the regular season ends. So that's your 13th day. So I guess that's your 13th week. So, um, so 13 days and then if you're if your college if your team gets lucky enough to play in a bowl game uh, you get to watch one more game at a random day like if you get a new year's six bowl or you get a bowl bid for like a lower level bowl you can play you know you know right before right after christmas or you know the middle of december it just all really depends on what your record is what bowl you got anyway um but if you got into the playoffs like my Georgia Bulldogs did the last couple of years. Uh, we play on New Year's Eve this year. We play against Ohio State, but that's not where I was going with this. Uh, yesterday, uh, a coach died. Uh, his name was Mike Leach, Coach Mike Leach. And he was not the coach of my team. He was a coach of the Mississippi State Bulldogs, but... Um, it didn't. If you were a true fan of football, a true fan of the game, or if you've ever been a fan of football in general, um, you know who Mike Leach is. He was uh, the only way I've I, the best thing I've heard to the best way I've heard him described was. Uh, sorry, the road's bumpy, really bad, really right here in this part, right before our exit. They really need to repave our interstate, to be honest with you. But he was one of one. He was one of one. You know, college football coaches, for the most part, are a lot are a lot like politicians in a way. You know, where they'll, I mean, not all of them, but 99% of them, like if they have a player that's injured, right? If somebody gets hurt and after the game they say, hey, do you have any update on, you know, player A that got hurt? They'll say, oh, it's day to day. We'll have to wait and see. Even if they know that player A is never going to play for the rest of the season, they're not going to say that. They're going to say, oh, it's day to day. And then a week can go by. And, that, that, you know, there's a potential with the player A could come back the next game or there's a chance that he could, you know, have his football career ended. And the coach will still say, you know, it's player player A is day to day. Sorry, I'm looking both ways. Well, Mike Leach wasn't like that. Mike Leach was a one of one man. He uh, he was special. He was the kind of guy where um, all I can say is just, you know, he passed away. He had a massive heart attack um, Sunday night. Um, or was it Saturday? It was either Saturday night or Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night. They, he, he ended up dying um, last night or yesterday, yesterday morning. But anyway... Uh, I won't get into some of the funny stuff that he said, but he um, just Google Mike Leach funny interviews and you can see some of the crazy stuff he says. They'd ask him a question about football and he'd end up talking about dinosaur bones and Bigfoot. And he was just, they call his nickname was the pirate and he earned that nickname. Uh, he was just a good man. He was one of one. You know how they say people are molded, um, you know, people are, 
you know, they could fit people into different molds. Different people fit into different molds. There was not a mold on this planet that would fit Mike Leach in it. He was a one of one individual. And there sadly will be a never, there'll never be another one like him. And my heart hurts for him and his family. Because I was praying for him. Because the world needs more colorful people. The world needs more. It needs more people that aren't scared to say what they really feel. That's just my thoughts. But, all right, I'm here at this place to pick up stuff for Melissa. So, I'm going to go run in here and pick this up, get something to drink, and then I'm going home. This is my final thing. Actually, you know what? I'll make one little video before um, I get back to the house. Uh, we'll go down the dirt road, and uh, and then that'll be it. So, all right, see ya. Oh, I am. All right, so now we're going down the dirt road now. Some of y'all probably don't know what a dirt road is, but out here in the country, we have dirt roads still. So I'll hang Melissa's phone out the window so y'all can kind of see what was planted. So in this field, I'll tell y'all what was planted. So in this field right here, this year, the crop uh, this past fall was peanuts. I don't know, you can't really see the peanut uh, like stuff anymore. Over here, like right in front of us, no, you can't hardly see it, but there's a cover crop. Probably just like grass or weed or something. Somebody's been riding a four wheeler down here. Um, we're supposed to get some rain here pretty soon pretty soon i know a storm are real bad in louisiana and alabama uh this is the dirt road i come to whenever i look for ants i love ants ants are extremely fascinating little creatures to me i'll pull up um there's a creek up here i'll show you i wonder if they picked up all the cotton if they ain't picked up all the cotton here i'll show y'all it's cotton bale. Oh, this one was peanuts too. I forgot. Yeah. If you look, I'll see if I can see a spot. You see, I mean, you probably can't see it. Let me just bring the zoom in. See how there's like rows? See how there's like a little line? I don't know if you could, you'll be able to see it on video, but peanuts are planted in twin rows. There's a center pivot. It's called a it's an irrigation system. Some people call it an irrigator. Some people call it a center pivot. A center pivot. I call it, it's a center pivot, but you call it a center pivot because it's pivots on the center right there. So it'll just turn in circles or until it hits a little bar. There's like a little bar on the very, very end of it. That's like it acts like a switch to make it reverse. Um, but yeah, I don't see no cotton bales. They might have some cotton bales over here on the, one of the fields up here. Uh, I ain't 100% sure. But whenever it uh, rains a lot, and we should, oh, somebody's been tearing this road up on their four wheeler. Y'all ain't seen it yet, though. Um, oh, somebody's hair running up here, too. I wonder if, they, I wonder if they're running the hair right now. Probably trying to get ready to get for the frame before the rain comes. All right, so here's a creek. There's a creek that runs right up under. There's a big, big drainage pipe, and you can see there's a big creek. Yeah, there's a big ant nest, but there's a little pipe right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. It's all rusted out and stuff. But right there, if I can zoom in on it, there's a big fire ant nest. Those ants, whenever it floods they'll make a makeshift raft if you didn't know that those are called rifas red imported fire ant um their scientific name is solenopsis invicta and they are the most destructive ant that um the united states has right now besides the argentina ant, or argentine ant, i should say they will eat everything and they will kill everything they are responsible for house fires they're responsible for um, the destruction of the ecosystem like we have multiple species of ants that have been wiped out by Solenopsis invicta uh, Species like Pronolopus emperus, which is the false honeypot ant or it's called the winter ant. It's like um, 
if you know what honeypot ants are, they're like native to California, uh, New Mexico, Mexico, stuff like that. Oh, look, there's ducks in the back back there. Hold on. You see them? You see the ducks back there? They just landed back there. They just made a bunch of noise. Yeah, there they are. You can see them back there. There are some ducks back there. Some some kind of waterfowl. I see them. You see them? Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to keep my uh, window down so I can see. I can see Let's see if I can see them. I can't, you ain't gonna be able to see them on this camera though. I don't think you could be able to. But they flew off and landed on the water. Anyway. Uh, here's some grain. I'll try to turn, I'm gonna have to turn around, but I'm gonna have to turn to the side of this dirt road. But somebody was cutting soybeans right here. Those are soybeans that came out of a, uh, somebody overloaded their semi and or either they didn't close the latch on the bottom but deer will tear these up and i am willing to bet if you come out here at nighttime i'm willing to bet if you walk out here just when just if i got out of my truck right now i could find a ton of deer tracks right here near this pile because they will eat that up big time uh anyway uh, I don't know if y'all could see cotton uh, cotton bales over there. Those are cotton bales. That's what your t-shirts are made out of. We farm everything here in South Georgia or Middle Georgia, wherever you want to call it. Uh, we farm peanuts, soybeans. They do potatoes over in a county across from us. We do, um, they, like if you buy green uh, peanuts in the uh, grocery store, and they, we do those here too. We do... Uh, sorghum. We do. I don't know if anybody really does sorghum a lot here. I know there's probably a handful of places. They have chicken houses here. We have cotton, corn. Uh, most of our peanuts, if I remember, I say most, but a lot of the peanuts goes to the Reese's factory or the Jeff plant um, and gets put into the, uh, gets made into peanut butter down. I don't remember where the peanut place is. Um, some of it gets sent up to the candy. They, it gets, they get roasted down south. It's either down south they make the peanut butter or, or up north they make... One, it's opposite ends. Like they make the peanut butter up north or they roast the peanuts up north. But the opposite end is the other one. But um, when they roast them, they send them to the candy place to put them in candy. Uh, let's see, they already here in this field over here across from us. I can't show it to you because... I'm going to zip over there. There's, a, there's some old cars back in the woods back there. You can probably see the chrome. You see them? Yeah, yeah you won't be able to see. I'll see if I can zoom in. Let me see. Uh, where is it at? Uh, no, right there. Yeah, there's like a old, it's like a old busted up, it's like a tornado like mauled it up or something and somebody just dumped it back there. A long, long time ago, it's got a tree growing through it. Um, on the opposite side of my truck, this is where my landline starts, right about right where we are. My, this is all my neighbor's land. He has a bunch of goats. Maybe you'll see some goats here in a second. There's a water line right there. Well, y'all can't see it, but there's a water line right there. It's a PVC line. That's a runoff ditch from my pond, my backyard. And here, if you look, whoever didn't do the, uh, whoever dropped that big pile of soybeans didn't close their freaking semi-trailer good enough. So they literally dropped them all the way down the road and they tore our street sign out they tore the uh street sign you see any of uh you see any goats or sheep or are you seeing their pot belly pig anywhere i think they're working on the road today are they no
Y'all should be able to see some cotton bales here in a second, somewhere right here. I'll try to go slow. If you look behind the house, there's like the other bales. All right, now I'm gonna turn it off because we're about to pull into my house. Goodbye. It's been fun. So my husband just got home and we brought in the stuff. So I figured we should look over what he got. So the first thing I'm seeing is some pizzas. That's always a good sign. And they're stuffed crust. Ooh, and we got some extra cheese to put on the top of them. Yum. Oh, and he got Starbucks iced coffee blonde rose. Now I can make some iced coffees. And he also got some zero sugar creamer. That's nice. And oh my God, you can tell he went shopping right here. So we got six containers of the Christmas tree cake ice cream. In here we have some peanut butter and jelly. We got some milk. This is such boy shopping. We got some Nutty Buddy cereal. This is a tray cereal. We got expensive corn dogs, some eggs, some bread. What's this? More Nutty Buddy cereal. And what's this? Uncrustables. Didn't you just buy stuff for peanut butter and jelly? Oh, guys, I have to show you the best thing. He got me a little surprise, too. And it's a Squish Mellows planner. And look at it. The inside has stickers. And then... There's a little section where you can write in a monthly calendar. I needed one of these. This is so exciting. And I love Squishmallows. So I just went ahead and made some of that Starbucks iced coffee. And I'm going to sit down and enjoy it a little bit. Because I did just take some Tylenol because my throat feels a little bit sore. Guys, I forgot to mention for the next few days, we're going to have some atrocious weather coming through. I keep getting tweet notifications for it from the National Weather Service. We're getting such horrific weather and I don't know if I'm ready for it because weather really scares me. So guys here's our next project on this rainy crummy day. I figure we can do some beauty space organization. So this is my current state of my makeup desk. You ever hear that thing called great minds have messy desks? That's how I live my life. As you know by now I am not the most organized person so I would really like to be. I am organized at heart. That's what I like to say because I do know where everything is. I just don't really put things where they go so I really need to get in better habits and really straighten things up and get back into shape here so I'm gonna go ahead and put you on my broken tripod set you up and then we'll start going through everything here okay guys so here's the first angle and we're not gonna scrub or clean anything today we're just gonna get organizing I really just want to go through everything here and put it where it goes because everything on this desk does have a home believe it or not it's just not quite exactly where it needs to be so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is take this Trace Luce Beauty palette and put it back in its box and put this into the palette organization system of palettes that I need to thoroughly review because I'm really interested in reviewing this more in depth. Then I got these two boxes from my unboxing yesterday. So these are trash. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these eyeliners back into my eyeliner system and get rid of these boxes. I got a really cool pencil sharpener here for jumbo pencils. And in this drawer right here, I keep really necessary things for filming. So one of the things I keep in this drawer is this metal bowl. And inside I keep my pencil sharpener so I can sharpen it right into this bowl without making a giant mess. So I'm gonna add this jumbo pencil sharpener into this bowl and put it back in my drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and put these brushes in a pile to bring out to the living room where I keep my brushes. I have a bunch of beauty stuff that I keep out in the living room that we need to go through too. So maybe we'll do that one of these coming days. I got some more trash right here. So I'm putting this in the trash pile. I got another brush. This is that Yansa bronzing brush. I got this Buxom lip gloss, Makeup Revolution eyebrow pencil. This actually worked out really nice. I got this Stila Putty Blush and Bronzer Duo. I got this KVD Shade and Light Contour Kit. Here's what that looks like on the inside. This really impressed me. I got the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I got this Cella Brow Powder. Cella is a really cool brand. I got this Beauty Blender Primer. This Bite Beauty Eyeliner. This Trace Luce Beauty Liquid Eyeshadow. This is one of those like three-in-one products from Becca. This is called the Light Shifter. Then I got one of those Doja Cat Lip Plumping Glosses. 
I'm actually going to go ahead and try this on right now. I forgot how this works. Definitely plumping, guys. Some other makeup that I have is this Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer. This is a perfume, so we're not going to mess with that yet. This uh, MTU NYC Luminizer. A Real Her Clear Brow Gel. Ciate London Loose Finishing Powder. And the ABH Concealer. So I'm just going to move all this makeup into that one yellow bag that I still have makeup in that I need to organize. So we're going to have to organize all that makeup one of these coming days. So here's that yellow Dollar General bag I was talking about. So I'm just going to stick all the Rogue makeup in here. And we're going to go through this and put it exactly where it needs to go pretty soon. So I got a pinch me sample box. I just made some short form content with this. So I'm going to go put this in my bathroom by my other samples. And we're going to go through these. And then this is my plain Jane box. I'm going to go ahead and put this box in the trash. And inside this box, I have a bonus CBD cool relief gel roll on that I'm going to put in my cabinet for when I run out. And I also got these really cool CBD lip balms. So I'm going to go move these next to my bed because I'm going to use these at night and I'm going to go put this in my cabinet. Next we have a heated eyelash curler and I've been dying to try this so we're probably going to try this tomorrow so I'm going to move this out into my stuff for the living room. I got all my Maybelline lip vinyls and I do want to keep these on my desk so I'm just going to put them on the side for right now. I love these things so these are just very special to me. I have some more makeup brushes that I just keep on my desk. These need to be severely washed. I got a little caffeine container. I'm just going to go ahead and toss this away. I got some Verb Energy Bars. These are great, but there's too much sugar in them for me, so I'm going to go ahead and pass these along to somebody. I got some hair dye stuff, so I'm going to move this into my bathroom and my hair dye drawer. I got some tanning stuff. I'm going to put this on my little table right here. Some more makeup. So I have an eyeshadow primer. This is a really good one. I like to use this for cut creases. And then I have the REM Beauty Sweetener Concealer. And I wanted to do a wear test on this. So I'm saving the box for that. And then I have this bag of mini primers. And I do want to keep all these right now. I'm not doing any sort of declutter right now. So I'm going to go ahead and save that for when we get more makeup to put in that bag. Here's some glitter base I could go ahead and put in this pile. And another MTU NYC Luminizer. I have this Aceology Rose Quartz Gua Sha. I love using this thing, and I also like to use it on my husband when I do spa day on him. I got some eye makeup remover that does go in the bathroom. I just have a little tiny bit left, but waste not, want not. And then I just recently bought this, so I'm going to put this in the bathroom so I could mix the About Face liquid highlighter in there and make my little body oil that I really want to do. Actually, I might move this out to the living room so I don't forget to make it, and we can make it on camera. My son put this shirt up here because it no longer fits him, so I have to put this in the donate pile. I have some makeup puffs that I'm going to put inside this drawer right here. I have this Yes to Watermelon hand cream that I'm going to put in my donate box. I have this Tarte moisturizer that needs to go on my skincare, and then I have this giant glitter pot from Profusion. I have this Tarte mascara I'm going to pop in my mascara drawer right here. I have a glitter gel liner. And then this liquid eyeshadow that I bought from eBay. I have all these new eyeliners I'm going to put in my new bin so I can go ahead and test these out and try new makeup. This sugar lip scrub goes in my bathroom and the Sermetic eye cream goes in my skincare. And then I have to go ahead and put up all my lash things that I just recently took out. This is from Sugary Cosmetics and this is called the Sugary Soda Palette and I think this is the orange or red. Yeah, this is the red one, Strawberry Sugary Soda. And this is adorable. I bought the entire collection of it. So the I keep the collection in my bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in this box set in my bathroom. I just recently used this. I have three brushes that go into my brush stash in my bathroom. I have some more makeup right here, both from ABH. One's the eyeshadow primer, the other's the dip brow gel. I have two fragrances right here. One's from Skylar, this is Pink Canyon, and this is Tom Ford, and I don't even know what this is called, but I remember I tried this and I like this one. I have the NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Tint Pen, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in my new makeup to try. I have a section in my bathroom where I put like all my CBD stuff, so I'm going to move all these CBD Delta 8 and my Jewel Pod into the bathroom. Here's another brush that I need to move into the bathroom. This goes in my lip scrub drawer. Now, I pulled this out of my collection on purpose. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade 02 Sunkissed. 
And I really truly like this formula, but this works as a contour shade for me. So I just recently finished up my Gigi Gorgeous contour. So I wanted to start using this when I contour my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this into my drawer right here so I don't forget to use that. And I'm also going to put these foundation adjusting drops into this drawer right here because I do use these quite frequently. I'm also going to move this knife into this drawer in case I ever need it for anything. I also keep a pen in here just in case. I'm going to move this Bella Pierre concealer palette and this is what I use for color correcting sometimes. And I'm going to move this Elmer's school glue stick into this drawer. I'm gonna throw away this old Ipsy card. Here's that brow lamination kit, so I'm just gonna keep it next to my desk, so maybe we can do this if we have time for it. This is one of my favorite mirrors to use when I go ahead and pluck my eyebrows. If you open it up on the back, it actually lights up and it's really magnified, so this works great for doing my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this drawer. This is from a brand called Andalou Naturals. They used to be sold on Ulta. I'm not sure if they are anymore, but I ordered from their website and they sent me this detox mask for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in with my skincare stuff. I was actually really excited when I got this from Ipsy. This is from Oda Saite, and this is called their Mona Me Facial Acupressure Beauty Tool. And here's what it looks like. So if you have a headache or something, you can run this along your sinus cavity and you can really depuff. It's really heavy and weighted and it's nice and metal and it's cooling and it feels really good. And the price on this was pretty expensive, but I just saw the same thing on AliExpress for like $2. So giant rip off. It does come with this neat little holding pouch though. I'm just gonna move this into this drawer for right now. I got some more trash I'm gonna go ahead and throw away. I got something else from my eyelash drawer. Here's some more makeup for that yellow bag. I have this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I already tried that. I have the MTU NYC Eye Primer. I have this Revlon Color Correcting Pen in Lavender. I have the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. And then I'm pretty much done with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I have, as you can see, just a little bit left to finish up there. I'm gonna go get that yellow bag and put all this makeup in there. I also have some money up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my bank. I'm gonna move these fragrances onto my fragrance cart. Now I have this hand sanitizer from Perlis, and this is in papaya turmeric. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some on my hands right now. I have three of these and I love every single one of them. This is very handy for keeping at a desk like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this drawer. I also found this ring, so this needs to go in my bathroom by my jewelry. So on my desk right now, I have my brushes that I showed you. I have those Maybelline vinyl lipsticks. I have my sad excuse for a ring light that's perched on this thing because it won't stay up. I have my homemade reflective board that I made. And then I have this stack of eyeshadow palettes. Everything else is cleared off of here. It needs to be wiped down with some microband, but so far so good. Now what I'm gonna do with these palettes is I'm gonna move them into the bathroom because I have palette stations in there where I like to decorate with them. And most of these palettes are palettes that I either wanna decorate with or that I use because they're all shimmer palettes. For example, this Kypress Beauty palette is something that I would just use on its own for a one shadow look because it's all shimmers. And these two Storybook Cosmetics palettes, I'm never going to use them, but I just like how they look as decoration, so I'm just going to display them. And this Peace palette, I just really like this one, and I do want to use it, but I'm not interested in doing an in-depth review on this one. And the only other two palettes I have are this Hello Beautiful palette by Chella Beauty. Let me show you what this one looks like. This one's simply gorgeous. I love it. And the shades in here are removable. And I haven't used this one yet, but this is from Rare Beauty and it's the Confident Energy Palette. And this again is an all shimmer palette. So I'm gonna put this in my bathroom pile so I can move it in there. So I'm just gonna grab one of my old makeup towels and give this a quick dust because there's a lot of dust that's sitting up here. I'm gonna put this in the hamper now. So yeah, that's a drastic change from what it used to be. My desk was piled high with stuff and I was just so over it. So now I can finally see what I'm doing and everything is going back to where it's supposed to be and I'm very happy about this. I do need to replace this or fix it up or something and I also have a big mirror that's supposed to go on my desk 
The mirror I have is from Impressions Vanity and it's a gorgeous, huge, lit up mirror and I need to put it together and somehow fix it up here. But I want to finish cleaning up my beauty space and, and I'm working on it slowly but surely. So a video in the future will be coming of me doing everything to get that done. So be on the lookout for that if you like organization videos to the max. So this looks a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all the stuff up on the floor that goes into the bathroom now. So I'm in my vanity area now and I'm going to go ahead and put these makeup brushes into this little docker box where I store all my unused brushes. Then I have my hair dye stuff that goes in this bottom drawer. Then I have this lip scrub stuff which goes in my lip scrub box right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this makeup remover on my counter so I don't forget to use it. And then I have all these palettes and I also have this ring that I showed you. So I'm gonna move this ring to my jewelry right there. And I'm gonna set these palettes down so I don't drop all of them. So the first one I have is a sugary cosmetics one and I'm going to go ahead and put it back in its little box set right here so I don't lose it. And then these ones I'm just going to stack in this organizer. And these I'm going to set over here so you can see them. And this peeps one I'm going to display inside the organizer as well. So that's all for my desk organizing. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the stuff that I have set aside for the living room out to my living room space. So here goes our special dinner for tonight is Wednesday pizza night. So I got a stuffed crust cheese, stuffed crust pepperoni, and it's going in the oven now. So 20 minutes later, we're gonna have a good dinner tonight. Okay, so dinner's ready. So here's my extra cheese stuffed crust pizza. I have an apple, a Fuji apple for tonight. I have my cashews, almonds, and walnuts. And then I have my water bottle filled up. And I also forgot to even put my dinner time supplements up here. So I had to hurry up and get them out and here they are.